Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, the first episode of Thunder in my Junction, we got Doc Brown or Doc, Doc Urlock robbing people. I don't know why I said Doc Brown. Doc Urlock, Arlock, uh, robbing people. So it's the Doc Robbery deck. Uh, I've seen some versions of this deck running out there and I wanted to try out this version that I've kind of stolen and then uh, adjusted on my own. So this deck is built around using Doc Arlock to uh, make all of our spells we cast from Graveyard and from Exile to less. And then we're gonna steal our opponent's card with Siphon Insight and Outrageous Robbery and when we do that, they cost less. We can play them. Doc Arlock also allow us to plot spells with two less so we can plot cards like Outcaster Trail Trailblazer and Slickshot Lockpicker with a lot less mana. So uh, one mana to get a 4-2 out, one mana to get a 2-3, two, two, basically a Snapcaster Mage out. That's that's pretty good. All right, so that is what this whole deck does. I can't believe Snapcaster Mage came back as an uncommon. Insane. All right, so the rest of the deck is kind of the shell to help that, uh, help achieve that goal. So in the early game, we got two cutdowns. That's it. Don't look at that. That's not an early game card. Two cut down. Uh, and then in the two drop, we got four Deep Cavern Bat. Four go for the throw. Uh, so we can target their hand or target their uh, board. And we got four Siphon Inside to target their library. And then we got Doc Orlock to kind of tempo out and help us make our spell cost a lot less. Uh, you don't really want to play Doc on turn two. What you want to do is on turn three, play Doc and be able to plot one of these two cards. So the plot cards we want to plot. Two slick shot lock picker and four outcast trailblazer. This well, again, a snapcaster mage that costs two and or that is a two three rather than a two one, but doesn't have flash. Right? Doesn't have flash has plots. I think it's just as good. It's really good in a lot of scenarios. And a uh, trailcaster, uh, outcaster trailblazer. Uh, when ATBs, we get a man of any color. But we also, whenever another creature with power four or greater ATBs on our side, we get to draw a card. So multiple trail uh, out. I can't talk right now. Outcaster Trailblazer will actually trigger on each other and draw more and more cards. That's really good. All right, so that is our three drop. Another three drop we wanted to have in the deck is Free Strider Lookout. Whenever we commit a crime, we get to look at the top five card of our library and put a land into play. Tap. But, you know, this is a very good ramp. Just committing crime ramps us. So what kind of crime are we committing? Well, targeting opponent's creatures are a crime. Targeting opponent's hand is a crime. Targeting our opponent's library is a crime. Everything we do in this deck is basically a crime. Alright, so yeah, that, that is gonna rob a lot of our opponent's cards and then commit all those crimes to uh, ramp us out really heavily. Then, in the heavy place, we have uh, the three steps ahead. It looks like it's a one mana instant. It's not. It's a spree. So for three mana, we get to counter a spell. Not that good. For four mana, we get to copy, uh, we'll create a copy of an artifact or a creature we control. Also not that good. For three mana, we get to draw two cards and discard a card. Also not that good. All in one card combined. Now we're talking. And don't forget, with Free Strider Lookout, we get to ramp very fast with this deck. So we actually get to use the three step ahead ability very often uh, for multiple, sometimes even three. Now the Outrageous Robbery, of course, very, very important in the deck because we rob our opponent's cards, they cost less to play. That is, that is an insane combo. Something that I did learn though. So even though mana of any color could be used to cast them, it doesn't mean that the Doc Arlock's ability reduces the color mana cost. It only reduces the non-color mana cost. So one of our opponent, I believe, was playing a Thalia. And basically what happened is that we stole their Thalia with either Siphon or Outrageous Robbery. And with Doc out, the Thalia doesn't cost zero. The Thalia costs one. So the Thalia technically costs one colorless and one white. It, it's one colorless less, so it's one white. But Siphon and the outrageous or the outrageous robbery turn that into a colorless mana that we can use but it doesn't get reduced by the dock so that's something to keep in mind right it doesn't reduce cards to zero unless it's an artifact all right and then in the land base we have 26 lands in the deck 26 lands it's important to have that many because we want to free stride look out uh, ramp out those lands. So we have one island, one swamp, one forest, one Ottawara, one Takinuma, one Boseju. Very standard 3-3 three, three for basic lands for our soul type colors. I have one demolition field in case I want to destroy my opponent's land. Uh, and I have one Mirix in case I wanted to kind of curve out and kill our opponent with a Mirix. You actually see us win a game with Mirix today. That's that's gonna be fun. Alright and then this uh, in the dual color lands I have six of each. Two fast lands in Dark Slick Shore, two Bloomy Marsh two botanic garden or sanctum and then uh, four slow lands the, the t um, 
Uh, if you have two mana or more, you get to, or you two lands or more, it comes to play untapped. The Shipwreck Marsh, four Death Cap Glade, Death Cap Glade, and four Dream Roof Cascade. So uh, I think this is a very good sort of uh, split on the lands. Now I didn't put any Surveil lands because I want to be able to play my lands untapped whenever I play them. And Dark Silk Shores can do that. Uh, uh, Shipwreck Marsh can do that. If you wanted to get a little bit cute, right, you can actually take out two of the Shipwreck Marsh, two of the Death Tap Blade, and two of the Dream Root Cascade, and put in the Surveil Land. And good thing about the Surveil Land is that if you get them from the Free Strider Lookout, you can actually uh, um, Surveil on the turn that those lands come in. They're going to come in and play Tap anyways, and you actually get an additional value from those lands ETB. So that's something to consider, but I think that right now this shell works pretty well. Let's go into the games. All right, our opponent's gonna be the Selective Sloth. I don't think that's the Sloth that plays magic. This is the Sloth that's selective. We're gonna go first. We got bats and eventually a Outcaster. So we'll say hi. Uh, let's see. If we got a bat here, let's dream of Cascade first. They're already GGing us for some reason. Uh, okay, now, now you gotta... I don't want them to shut up because I want to emote them for fun. Not the BM, but they're not shutting the hell up. Alright, temporary lockdown, sunfall, white sun's twilight, memory deluge. Uh, what do I care about the most? I guess I want to take the temporary lockdown, uh, but it doesn't hurt as much if you want to use three mana on a bat, right? So let's take the memory deluge. Okay, so. Going for the attack first, and then we can plot this. It's not going to be very useful. Temporary lockdown, of course. Kind of saw that coming. Uh, I got a free cast that gives me one additional mana to do something. Right? I can take out the memory deluge again, but I don't. Um, do I, okay, hold on a second. This is 5 mana. I can actually play the Trailblazer. We'll get a black mana. We'll use that on the bats. What do you have? No more lice. Uh, well, it's going to take a while for them to get there. They do have Sunfall, and that's annoying, but I, I will take out the Memory Deluge again. Just to just can play it out. Now, now we have a slick shot lock picker. Do, do they know how to play the game? They, they keep talking. Get lost. Gets us some map tokens, I guess. I'll take the one. Now I can drop a Mirix. I think they're going to Sunfall us. Which, I mean, we're going to rob them if we Sunfall us. All right, now it's too much. Now they gotta shut up. I, I think he was having a stroke. I don't know why he had to populate instead of Sunfall, but I don't know what I'm doing. He gets that one mana back. Or he gets the Deluge back with one mana. Now let's steal three cards. Card advantage is gonna be on our side. Unfortunately, those are the cards we steal, so... Uh, what do we do here? Definitely want to play a land. Uh, maybe I'll play the Free Strider. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I, he can't do anything this turn, so... You know what? I'm going to play a land. I will play the Pickpocketer. I think this works, right? And I can cast this for... Four. Still four cards on you. Alright, we stole all of their cards. So, I can attack. Uh, I think he wants to memory deluge, but I want to attack first. Nothing else happens before the attack. So. Three mana for no more lies. I'm pretty sure he wants to counter the no more lies. Uh, but I want to play the Strider first. If he no more lies that, I'll let it go. 
doesn't normalize it, I will counter his memory deli. With his own dissipate, no less. All that good gaming. How about you play the actual game, huh? I, oh, you want to pick the tap lens or the, the fast lens? Because the slow lens come into play untap anyway. Alright, that's one sun fall down. He taps himself out. I could restless anchorage, but I think Field of Ruin works better against his two restless anchorage. And since he's tapped out, maybe I'll do this. What is he gonna do? He can no more lies his own wandering ember. I think that's fine. Let's see what he wants to do. Because his temporary lockdown is only locking down his cards. Uh, I'm not gonna play the Emperor into nothing. That, that would be kinda dumb. Start milling him. I might mill a no. Uh, I was gonna say, not a no more lie. I might mill a. Memory Deluge, which is definitely what, what I don't want to happen. We could play the Anchorage, but we can't actually turn it live, right? We don't have any white mana. So we got a Field of Ruin. Do I play the Anchorage anyways? Yes, I do. You can always mirror it. Cards does he have? 33. Wow, we've milled a lot. Jace the Perfected Mind. Kapask! Alright, he's gonna mill us. What is he gonna do? He's gonna mill three. Not the end of the world here. I will clear three lands, good. Mind. I don't want those lands in my hand anyways. He draws a card. Uh, now we can Wondering Emperor. Uh, underneath... Actually, this tap all my mirrors for some reason. Yeah, we can do that underneath the uh, No More Lies. We should have countered it, because it'll attack my mana a little bit more. I, I hope think that probably would be the better play. I don't know. Let your blade do the talking. Also Mirix. And we get a bat. Right, that's a lot of good cards. So I'm going to drop a land here, and we will bat him first. The cards are in your hand. Uh, whew, another memory deli. That's real good. So he's probably gonna white sun next turn. Let's stop him under that. And then we will use our map token because we have a lot of those. This is gonna be a land. Not a land, but I also don't want that. Unfortunately, it's a good card. Uh, and we'll do this again for the Samurai. Okay, quit. GG. Uh, I forgot where the placements for the emotes are. Alright. Okay, our opponent's gonna be Razor the Curse. Yeesh. They're, they are they are the curse. They're not just cursed. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit tricky because I want to freeze try Rider. Right, I definitely want to do that uh, with. Yeah, I don't know. What is this one? Scapegoat. This creature can't block. Man is haste. When it enters the battlefield, suspect it. One or more creature in the battlefield in your control. If it's suspected, you may suspect one other creature. Then the goat's no longer suspected. What the heck is that? Really, like, what the heck is that? All right, uh, we can dock. I don't think I want to dock. I want to siphon. It's not great. Honestly, I don't I don't think it's that great. I can't do anything right now. So let's siphon to see if we can steal something useful. Uh, audacity is not useful, neither are a land. Um, maybe the audacity, right? At least we get to draw a card. 
Bow for the throw is great. I need that. But it's gonna take a while for me to get there. So do I just dock in Audacity? This is still suspected. So, yeah, I don't want to dock in Audacity if I can't do anything with it. Do I just... Play the Lookout? The Lookout would just die, right? If I play the Dock, the Dock would just die. None of these are that good. Maybe I'll play the Dock, Audacity it, but then that would deal a lot of damage. No! Looks like we're just going for the throw. Alright, he draws a card. Monster Rage. Now we get rid of that goat. Cool. So now we're gonna land here, but it's kind of getting tricky, right? Because I want to dock, I want to bat, but I definitely don't want to dock and bat on the same turn, since I don't get any value of the dock. The bat can help me get a part out of his hand. And give me more information on what he's playing. All right, a bunch of pumps. Yep. Oh, jeez. Alright, that's a bunch of pumps, alright. This is the only pump that... I think I'll just die from all this. This is the only pump that gives him a card, though. So let's take that out. Maybe I'll represent a removal. Play with fire. Ooh, okay. The blazing crescendo is... Yeah. That's really good. He didn't pump it though. So what can I do here? Can I steal a damage? No, I get a Kumano. Uh, so the lookout's not gonna do anything. Neither is the dock. Right? Okay, so what is a crime? Target an opponent, anything they control, or cars in our graveyard. None of these are targeting, so that's not good. Alright, I guess I'll have to dock Kumano or dock Audacity. I definitely don't want to give him cards with Audacity. And so, I guess we'll do this. Th these draws have not been great. Great. Get a lot of damage. Play with fire. Right, I'm gonna go down to five. Can I please get a removal? Uh, probably not. I get a bat. The bat's not good enough. Trample. Uh, plus three plus three. It's your turn. That creature gains trample. Otherwise, it gains. Okay. He's gonna get trample either way. All right. I could commit a crime here. Or I can siphon. To commit his crime. Alright, that's not good enough. I can I cannot target. I cannot remove. This is no bueno for me, right? I can't do anything. He's gonna pump the Felden with trample, so. So he's gonna give it first try. Actually, he has no land, so he might not be able to give it first try. Let's come on, on him. Alright, this is plus three plus one. This is plus three plus one, but it's also an instant. He gets three more. I think this is just lethal anyways. I get six cards. Not lethal. He gets six cards. Look at those cards. He wants a slick shot something. Flying haste. So we back him. He has no green, so he can't just play whatever he wants. Right? Yeah, that, there's at least that. 
have the dock. Um, this costs two, this costs one. Do I want a siphon? I don't know if I want a siphon. Maybe I just want to do that. Let's do it right now, so if he wants to attack, I'll block. 4-2 flying lifelink. Pretty good. Doesn't attack. So we can add a that it gets black. I can play this. Flying haste. Um it's not really that useful, right? This attacks for four. He has really not much he can do. Then he can come back on the other side and kill me. Can I plot this? I can't plot this, huh? I can use this as a blocker. That's about it. I wasn't going to attack with it anyway, so even though it has haste, it doesn't matter. I definitely want to use this as a blocker. Kumano? Alright. Try to trigger prowess here. Double attack. This is menace, right? Oh no, it's not menace, it's just haste. Okay, so I can block here. I can just keep that open. Doesn't he die? I mean, all those emotes, how about you play the game? Terrible. Alright, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not lethal. That is not lethal. If it's not lethal, I should not go all in, right? No, I'll go with this. Alright, I could, and this is really tricky here, because I could will save you this, but I don't want to, because I'll give him a green mana. Let's uh, put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. Alright, no green mana. Get wrecked. Okay, our opponent's gonna be the Had you pegged? Had you? Oh, had you pegged? Okay. I don't know. Did you though? Did you really? I'll say hi. Let's drop a tap land. All tap lands for some reason, but you know, we'll make it work. We will have to make it work. Boros, not Boros. What is this? For basic land and put it into your hand. Basic planes. Um, you know we have a lot of lands. Not really much of anything else. I'm hold up three step ahead. Technically a counter spell. Into the battlefield, create two colorless artifact token. You gain three life. Do I want to hold this up? Well, I mean, I waste the whole turn if I don't do it. So let's do it. Draw three cards. Draw two cards. Discard a card. Still more lands. That's exactly what I needed. counter if you descend it. Sure. Do I cut this do I cut any of this down? I don't I don't know if I care. I should have played this smart. More three steps ahead. Yep. I can play this and then play this. That that will help me draw a card. Uh, if I play this, right, and then I play this, this will cause zero, which let me uh, means I have five mana. Playing this means that I will have three three mana left. With three mana, I can use cut down on something, but I can't do anything else. So. Oh, this feels bad. I can't do anything right now. I'm 
thinking. I'm thinking. I'll put that on side too. Yeah, these three steps ahead, right? They really need you to have lands to do something with. So. Okay. Why didn't we do that on his turn? I'm confused. If you descend as a turn, if there are three or more, transform it. So. If he doesn't do anything. Oh, well, now I get this. I'm a little late for that. Alright, so I can trailblaze. We'll add a blue mana. We'll trailblaze. We'll add a... We'll draw a card. We'll add another blue mana. We'll add a green, maybe? Add a blue. I think this... No, this only costs three. Alright, so... Then we will use one of these along with the copy and then draw this card no I think that uh, I'll say one two three four five six so this will cost four uh, I already played a land okay no this is fine I'll copy this If I played this, I can actually use the Boseju on the Brass Tunnel. That's pretty good. The Grinder, if he wants to go grind. All of a sudden, our board is big. And we can commit some crimes. Right? I can't only commit one crime. I can't commit a crime this turn and a crime next turn. Well, on his turn, because I have a cut down or a Boseju, not both. But the Brass Grinder is not gonna kick off anytime soon, so right now it doesn't do anything. This also doesn't do anything until he crafts. And when he crafts, just creates two 1-1 one, one colorless. And then Gnome Tokens gets plus one, plus one. But I have a lot of Prime going on. The Dock is great, but unless I can rob him, the Dock is really good. Alright, what is he gonna target? I gotta respond by killing one of these. You can exile if you want, but I'm at least getting a ability out of it. Alright, the the get loss, or not the get loss, what is it? The cut down doesn't do anything. Just kill one once by itself. But at least this way I can get a land type. Get lost. Okay. Uh, the demolition feel is nice. This turns into a land and then it will just die. Market gnome. Uh, guess we're playing against a gnome deck. Oh boy. So. We can make him commit another crime, right? Uh, let's see. Three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that's. I have to play the Boseju if that's the case, and I don't want to do that. I guess we're going for the attack first, see what he does. Just a chump block, right? Yeah. Expect it. Draws a car and gain a life. Alright, so it costs three mana to use the to you to use the counter spell. I can actually use this once. To map. Map it out a little bit. What can I get? Is it a land? If it's a land, I can play it. And because I play the land, I can now do this again. Is it another land? Please don't be another land. I go for the door's good. That will help me commit some crime. I mean, not really, it's all full of artifacts. I should have should have thought ahead, huh? Oh, you wanna do that? How about you don't sunfall me? Yeah, how about you go away with your sunfall? Ooh boy, 26 life, I get to target one card. 
and hope that I get it right, because otherwise I die. Ugh. I commit a crime here. I'm an all-out crime committer right here. Alright, I picked their last sunfall. And GG! Alright, our our opponents, I hate this game. <laughs> I, I get it. I totally get it. You know, opponent, I'm gonna hate this game way more than you. It looks like I'm not gonna get green again. That is... That is something. You get to go first, you should be proud. This is a good hand, but not one that will help me win. I need, I need more help. Oh. I mean, there's probably a reason why you hate this game, I guess. Have you ever thought about not playing Mono Red? Yeah, what am I saying? That's like asking, have you not... Have you thought about not being completely dumb? They thought about it! Decided against it. Alright, what's in your hand? Play with fire? Gone. Man, just... Curve out! Mono faces Fakas on again. Do they attack? Do I want to take the play with fire? No, I mean, I'll, I'll just trade. I gain a life, they lose a life. It's, it's exactly the same amount, right? Look out. I got reach. What did they draw, though? Oh, Godric. Okay. That's a freaking 5-5. Five five. Jeez. I mean, I guess at least the opponent doesn't know anything about reach. So there's that, right? At least we have that going for us, which is nice. I guess I'll have to play the dock as a blocker and go for the throw the Godric. I can't three steps ahead him, so I have to go for the throw right now. Yeesh. I mean, doing his turn for sure, but still. Watch him try to struggle and celebrate. Plays a land. Doesn't celebrate. All in, anyways. Uh, well, I couldn't remove all the attackers. Let's see what he does. So I have to kill that. Get to commit a crime here. Get a land out. Uh, okay. You want to use the fire breathing? Why not? Maybe you hate this game because you're bad at it. Have you thought about that? Just, like being absolutely horrendous at it. First aid of the meta. He thought, hey, what if I use the same deck over and over again? Wait, 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 wait. Can I put a stop on his... Before he goes to his main phase? I don't want to pass to draw. Before he goes to his main phase, right? Watch this. Token. Do I want to do that? That feels kind of bad. No, 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 no. Let's pass the main. Let him do his thing. What if it's a burn spell? Then I kind of just eat it. This can still counter. I was gonna copy the bat and take it, but I want to be able to counter it. It costs 5 to counter and draw 2 cards, right? So I have 5. It costs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It costs 6. I have 6 to co counter and copy 2. So I can do those. I can do either of those. Our opponent's doing the rope thing, so yeah. Uh, uh, time for us to show out the emo. Eh? Eh? Come on. Eh? Hello? Oh, this is the best emo I've seen all day. Come on. Exactly. Oh, a chick! Okay, so we can counter that, and I think we should. Counter that spell, create a copy. I want to do that. I want to create a copy of the free spell writer. Resolve. I counter the spell, so I get two. I get another reach blocker. What do you want to do? Aha! G? G. Alright, opponent's doing the rope thing again. So I'm just gonna look, look at these. Ah! <laughs> Fiddle Death is. Is it Fiddle Death? 
fiddle them. Doing his best singing. It's fun. Yee huh? Alright, this is a typical mono red play. You know why you hate this game? Maybe because you should learn how to play it, and if you lose, you know, lose graciously. Don't be such a sore loser. There you go. There you go. You learn all the plays. Good job. There's one button every mono red should learn how to do is quit. I'm that was not fun. It was mono red in the game. Welcome back everyone. Did you enjoy those games? The robbery, uh, dock robbery combo, I don't think it happened as often as I liked it to be, just because our draws, ha draws have not been that well. But of the games that you've seen, I, I think a lot of it does uh, hinge on this card, Free Strider, Lookout, helping us ramp out. That's very important. This card is, I don't know, I don't know who designed this card, but it should, it should get banned soon because it's, it's so good at ramping. Oh my, it's just so crazy ramp that all of our high mana value cards are now very easy to cast. Now the Slick Shot Lockpicker, probably not the best card in this deck, that's why there's only two off. Uh, there are more consideration to be made about what we can do with it, or maybe we can get better spells to combo with it. The Outcaster, Outcaster Trailblazer, oh, this card is insanely good. We get card draws from that, we get mana from that, we plot it with Doc, and what's even better is that once it comes in, we can actually copy it with three steps ahead, and now we draw a lot of cards, get a lot of mana, and our opponent can't stop us because we have control of the game. So yeah, this is a fun deck, right? Uh, I highly recommend this deck, but of course the meta is still fresh, right? The Thunder in my Junction just started, and I, I, I'm very excited to see what kind of what kind of deck shakes out and this I hope it's one of them I really like this kind of slow slower combo -y style of play where once you hit the stride and your combo happens uh, it's more fun to play with this deck right your, your deck seems to be be able to do a lot better stuff that's really all I got for you today thank you very much for joining me and I will see you guys next time